Hi, this is Jen O'Connor from the Chatham Club. I've got Brett with me, and we are going to do a 45-minute small space water bottle workout for you guys because you're probably all losing your minds at home. Bored, social networked all you can, and you're ready to move your body a little, try to build some endorphins and some immune system while we work out. So we're, uh, we're going to keep it small, and um, if you have water bottles in your house, I have a couple different sizes. Or if you have the kind that um, you uh, refill, those are great, those are perfect. And if not, you can always grab a bag. Everybody's got a Lululemon bag in their house and you can fill that up with some water bottles or soup cans or something, so all of that's good. All right, so we're gonna get a nice warm up going. So we're gonna just start with some little arm chops. And Brett, this is like taking him way out of his comfort zone. Yeah, so guys, there's a perfect time of year to get out of here. Perfect time to get out of the comfort zone. Exactly. He's, this is just not something he's used to. So we're going to do some arm side to side, little swing, get that body rotated, get it moving. We just turned the heat up in here. So if you see us sweating shortly, you'll know why. But hopefully we're going to get you a little sweaty at home. All right, so maybe you can do this in the background while your kids are doing their homework. All right, last two, and we're going to just swing down and lift up. All right, and then we're going to add a little calf raise here, so just get those calves warmed up. Now, I'm not going to jump at all. I have not so good knees, but Brett might add a jump here and there, so there's an option if you want to add a little intensity. And we're going to alternate a knee lift, so we're going to lift our right knee and our left knee. So if Brett does that with a jump, I'll be super impressed. We'll work up to it. <laughs> Last four, three. I hope you guys are having fun at home, not killing each other. All right, we're just gonna squat and give it a big press last couple here. Last one, and I'm gonna steal one of Brett's moves here. So we're gonna walk ourselves all the way down. We're gonna walk our feet back. I want you to step your right foot forward. You're gonna rotate your torso to the right. You're gonna rotate down. You're gonna walk your right foot back an inchworm all the way up and we're going to reach and then walk ourselves forward take your left foot forward rotate to the left bring that left hand down walk it back now if this bothers your back at all or your wrists or your hands you can always do this i'm going to show you modified on your knees and you can step your right foot forward and brett's going deep with that elbow right so you can be here and just lift all the way up that way. All right, so modified either way. And reaching, rotating, stepping back. And we'll do one more on each side. So coming forward, this will get your heart rate up, get you sweating, get your body warm, get all those joints ready to work. Reaching, coming forward, last one on the left. Up, up, and back we go. All right, we ready? So um, if you have anything water bottle wise, soup can wise, grab that. We're gonna pick those up and we're gonna start with a squat press. All right, so Brett's got some weights. If you have weights in your house, I encourage you to do those. So you're just gonna hold the weights by your shoulders. You're gonna drop your elbows to your thighs and just give me a nice shoulder press, right? There. Now, if you can, you're gonna add a little calf raise to that. And on your squat, you're trying to sit your hips back Weight in your heels, wiggle your toes a little bit, and grip that booty on the way up. All right, nice strong press. Keep it coming. We're gonna do four more. I'm not doing exact counts here, so if you always, if you wanna do more, feel free. Last one, and we're gonna hold it down and give it a little pulse. All right, so keep your weight back. Brett's nice and deep there. So if your knees are for it, go for it. Give me another eight here. Nice strong abs. You want to roll your abdominal wall in. Last four, three, two, and roll yourselves up. Now we're going to take a step to the right and reach with our left hand down and step out. And we're going to go side to side. So you're going to take your left hand to your right foot, step up, and switch. So you're going to reach and pull. Good, perfect. Now watch your knees. You want to press your knees out in the same direction as your feet. Again, nice strong core. Keeping your head in alignment with your shoulders. So ears and shoulders in a good alignment. 
Nice and deep. You want to feel this in your inner outer thighs. A couple more. We're going to work a little balance after this. You guys know that I love to work balance. Last two each way. Last one. All right, now we're going to stay on the right side. Hold that right here. We're going to drop and lift up. Drop and lift up. So work in that outer leg here. Now, if you want to add a little rotation, you're going to bring your right elbow over toward that right thigh. Nice. It's a nice, strong core here. I can tell this is way out of Brett's comfort zone right there. I'm feeling some things I haven't felt in a whole lot. <laughs> nice, guys. Last four. Keep it coming. Last two. Last one. Now step it in. Good. Just roll your shoulders out. We're going to do the same thing to the left. So your hands are going to come together. You're going to step to the left and just press and just tap it in. Good. Press. Tap it in. All right. Now we're going to add, we're going to layer on. So you're going to lift and rotate your torso. All right. There. All right. So turning that body, working that weight. Now straighten your left leg if you can, right? Or keep the knee bent, right? Either way. A couple of different variations on a theme, just to keep it interesting. Last four. Last two. Last one. Nice job, guys. All right, we're gonna put one of those weights down. You're gonna put one weight in your right hand and you're gonna stand just on your left foot. A um, little trickier to stand on the mat. It makes it a little tougher to bounce. So your right foot's gonna stay off the ground. We're gonna take our right arm, reach across to the left big toe, or pinky toe really, and then take that arm right out to the side. Right, so the right foot's gonna try to stay off the ground the whole time. So this is very challenging on your body awareness. Also feel a little shaken in that left cheek here. Your left glute cheek, that is. Hopefully not your face. Pull your abdominal wall away from the floor, especially on your way down. You want that belly hanging out. I know we're all home, probably eating a little more than we normally would and cleansing with the alcohol internally. I'll try to work that off a little bit. Right, Brett? Absolutely. Two more. I think we all need that right about now. Yeah. All right, listen, on this next one, we're gonna hold it down, hold it, hold it, hold it, give me a little pulse. Ow, booty burn, press. Press, press, press. Yeah, eight, seven, six. How's that tushy back there? Four, three, two, good. And shake it out. Nice, he's sweating. All right, so you're gonna wait, hold the weight in your left hand, same thing, other side, so your left foot's off the ground. Here we go, we're gonna reach down and give it a little shoulder raise on the side. So you're reaching and you're coming up. So if you're having trouble balancing at all, think about spreading the weight across your foot and squeeze that right glute here. And if it feels weird to hold your right arm out, just let, let it fall naturally. All right, so you're working that rear delt and medial delt on the left arm. Woo! Haven't worked out in a couple days, feeling the love. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Keep it coming. Got a couple more till we hold. Last one. Hold it down, give me a pulse, press it down. So you're driving that right hip back, relax your head, your neck, and your shoulders. Not to, not to clench the teeth. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh yeah. Shake it out. Let's give that a break. All right, All right we're, gonna, we're gonna sit on the floor, do a little abdominal work, and then we'll come back up again. So, we're gonna keep our knees bent. You're gonna hold one weight in front of you. If you wanna work harder, you can hold two weights. You're gonna roll down, and on the way up, you're gonna rotate to the right. And then come back down and stay on the right side. So we'll do 10 on each side. You wanna make it a little harder, your right knee can come up when you rotate. Just make sure you're pulling the ribs in nice and tight, right? So you don't want any 
if you buy chicken in a store, we don't want any chicken ribs here, right? We're all having a good time in the grocery store right now. Who knew that was gonna turn into a one big sport? Couple more. Last one. All right, we're gonna switch right to the left, other side. Rotate, roll down really mindfully. You wanna land one disc at a time on the way down. Try to land your waistband before your mid-back hits the ground. You wanna exhale as you come up. Nice exhale, four more. I think we might have done a couple extra on this side. That's all right, it won't hurt us. Two more, one more. All right, so we're gonna do a half Turkish get up here. So, Brett, please correct me if I'm on the wrong side. Which knee is gonna bend, my right or my left? Left. Okay, so we're gonna push up. You're gonna drive up. Now, you can use your hips to come off the floor. And if that's too hard, I'm only going halfway. We're not gonna go all the way up. You're trying to keep that arm extended. I'll show you modifications. So Brett's gonna go all the way up. There you go, Brett and you can come back down. You want to really control this. Keep that arm locked, your elbows locked. If it doesn't hurt your wrist on the floor, you can push into that left arm, really drive the booty up, right? So this is working just about every part of your body, especially the posterior chain, the back side of the body, the hips, the back, mid-back. Lots of strength and power, big push. You really want to drive into the tush. Yeah, nice. Give me two more. Woo, yeah. Let us know we're still alive. Feeling healthy. Good job. And release. We're going to switch. Feeling good? Oh, yeah. All right. Ready? So, again, I'll show you modification. I'm not going to go all the way up. Brett's got it working. All the way. And drive into that arm. Control the scent. Lifting. Drive up. Woo. Push it back down. Big exhale. Push. Lower gently. Control that descent. Your arm is fatiguing. If it bothers your shoulders at all, just gonna go part way up. Beautiful Brett, making it making it look professional. Try it. Try it. Get it done. Gotta look the part. You are looking the part. Two more. Woo. And one more. And then we'll hit our abs from the other side. Nice. Let's put those weights down or bottles down. We're just gonna go into a nice plank position. So you have a couple choices here. Just make sure that your fingers, or your wrists are right under your shoulders. You're pulling your shoulder scapula down towards your spine. You can modify by keeping the knees down, one knee down, or otherwise we're gonna go to full plank here. And we're just gonna hang on to this for a few seconds. And all I want you to do is start by rocking through your feet, back and forth. Keep your glutes tight, and especially pull the lower belly away from the floor. Right, your ears, your shoulders, and your hips are in one long line. All right, so you're just rocking back and forth. Always can go down on the elbows or knees or both as needed. And we're gonna hold that. We're gonna walk our feet in, in, out, out like we're climbing a mountain. So we're gonna sort of like a modified bear and back, back. And you want as minimal back movement as possible. So you really want to control this, right? So the body is very quiet. Your heart rate's probably screaming, right? But your, <laughs> but your abs, hopefully on fire too. But there's very minimal, you don't want to be rocking up and down, right? You want to be in full control with this. Modified, just walk your knees in and back. A couple more. Brett's sweating up a storm over there. Last one, and let's take a break and just press back into child's pose for a second. Let's get off those wrists. We can shake our hands out. You good? Yeah, just making sure I'm not slipping and sliding. There we go. All right, so back in that plank position. 
If you need a break, take it, a little longer break. You can always put the, uh, the video on, on pause, right, Kels? There we go. All right, so we're gonna just rock back. I want you to reach to one ankle and then come forward and rock back and come forward. So this is great for your whole torso. As you're lifting your hips, you wanna feel like you're hollowing out from your belly all the way to your spine, right? Really closing that gap between the ribs, top and bottom ribs. A few more. Thankfully the heat went off in here. Last one, each arm. And we're gonna go back to that bear crawl, but we're gonna start with our left leg this time. All right, so find that plank. You're gonna come in left, right, left, right. Lots of control. I like to do these in my bar class. They always groan. They're never too happy about these. Always really good for you though. Not sure what this exercise has to do with bar, but other than it does totally work with core. A couple more, everybody. Last one, we'll get out of that plank. And let's walk our hands all the way to our feet. Oh yeah. Let it hang for a sec. I'm gonna roll all the way up, 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 up. Woo! Sweating, sweating, right? Okay, so, um, I'm gonna hold the weight, uh, but I'm also gonna give you the option, if you wanna go heavier with a row, you can use a shopping bag. We all have Athleta, Lululemon, some type of reusable shopping bag. You can fill it with as much stuff as you want. We're gonna do a little lunge series with a one-arm row. So I'm gonna throw my water bottle into the bag, and we're gonna take a right foot and uh, keep it back. I'm sorry, we're gonna start with our left foot. So we're gonna step forward with the left. I'm gonna have to shorten that up and give it a row and then step back up again. We're gonna stay on that same side, so we're not gonna rotate. We're gonna row and step back. Now, if, if this type of lunge, a forward lunge, bothers your knees, what you can do is just hold position. Keep going, Brett, you're gonna keep going. You're gonna step back, that's okay. Um, so I'm just gonna hold this position. Right, so you can stay right here if your knees bother. You're just holding a stationary lunge. But otherwise, you're just stepping nice big angle. Your left foot is forward. The knee tracks over the ankle. And you're giving it a big row there. Yeah, we made it. And we are going to make it through this, right? We're all going to do this together. Last two. Nice work. Last one. Awesome, we're gonna switch sides, so change hands. Right foot's gonna come forward, let your shoulders roll back. Ready, heel ball toe in that landing. And you're gonna row it up and push off. And again, keep going Brett, keep doing that. I'm gonna just show you the option of just holding the lunge position and just working that row. And you just wanna make sure you're not feeling joint pain with this. You wanna make sure that you're feeling it in your quads, your hammies, and your glutes, but not your joints. That's it. Kind of work some definition in those arms, All right? Ready or not, summer's coming. I believe Friday's the first day of spring. So we're gonna get that spring body ready to rock. And hopefully you're gonna be able to get a chance to get out, get some exercise, get out, get some walking in. Maintaining good social distance, socially responsible social distances. Last two. Last one. Awesome, good job, nice. All right, so we're gonna take one weight, I'm gonna take this out, and we're gonna do a um, forward lunge, again, back on the right foot, and we're gonna chop across, so we're gonna reach down, I'll just show you one breath. So you're gonna chop down and step up. All right, so you're gonna have that weight in your hands, and we're gonna chop it down to the outside of the right hip. So here we go. Down, and lift up, good. So obliques at work, shoulders at work, legs, it's great multifunction exercise. Any of you play sports, right? Get ready for tennis and golf. Let's hope they keep the golf courses open for us. 
tennis courts are hopefully still open. Big exhale on that push, right? So you want to drop nice and deep. Now, look how deep Brett's knee is getting. He is really getting out nice and low, so he's going to get a good burn in that right glute. He's getting a great stretch through his left quad. Give me two. Last one coming. We're going to go right to the other side. Ready? So hands go out to the left. Deep push. Press. So get your heart rate up too, right? For sure. <laughs> I forgot to put my heart rate monitor on my Apple Watch here. Just want to get credits for those calories burned, right? It's just a head game, but we like to keep track. Jonas Brothers, Jersey Boys. Exhale, push. We got a few more here. Four. Give me two. And one. Good. All right, so feet together. Now hip distance apart. Let your shoulders roll. We're going to rotate right and left. So just right, left. Right, left. Good. So nice. Really, really. Keep going, Brett. Tight, 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 tight through that rib area. Beautiful. Right, so you want to prepare your abs almost like you're getting a gut punch. Right, so if somebody was going to punch you, you really want to tighten and protect your core. So that's what this is all about here. Pretty fluid through the torso, glutes engaged. Last four, three, two, one, nice work, good. Let's work, work the shoulders a little bit. So one weight in each hand, and we'll do a little shoulder press, all right? So let's go a little wider with the feet. We're gonna bring the hands to the shoulders. We're gonna reach out and squeeze in, all right? Out, now get ready. I'm gonna pick up the pace, here we go. So we're gonna lift and drop, good. Lift and drop, making that really nice letter Y here. You want to really feel this through the shoulders. Don't forget about the legs, though. Big press. Big exhale. Down, drive, out. Down, drive, out. Nice. Give me four. Last two. Last one. Good. Hold that right there. We're going to lean forward into our rear fly. Abs engaged. Relax your head, your neck, here we go. So we're gonna open, down, open, down. My back is very firm here, as are my abs. Let your head and neck relax, no tension through the jaw. We're gonna do another eight here. So eight and eight, 16 all together. Work in the rear delts, four more. Got two to go. Got one to go. All right, good. Roll yourselves up. Give it a little roll back there. We good? All right. Yeah? All right, so we're going to launch back and do a bicep curl with a back launch. So our right foot's going to go back, palms face the ceiling. Take your time with this. We're going to launch back with just the right leg, and we're going to stay on that right leg. So we're just curling. Now, what I see a lot of people doing in class is kind of short-ranging their arms on these. So you want to make sure that you are going all the way up with your hands, all the way to your shoulders and then all the way down to the floor. You don't want to go halfway unless that's your intention. And we can do those two in a few. So I'll show you a shorter range of motion in two counts. We're going to do two more of these. One more. All right, we're going to hold that right leg back. Hold the hands right in the center so you're going to short range this. So, little tiny pulse. You're dropping your right knee, and if you really want to get down on it, you can drop that right knee to the floor. Yeah. Definitely feeling this through the right hip flexor and the left glute. Give me two. Give me one. Now, this is going to get ugly. You're going to lean forward, shoulders back and down, tricep extension, back and in, back and in. You, you are trying your best to get your hands past your hips. So you wanna drive the hands up toward the ceiling. 
Big exhale. I'm still on that same leg. Your leg on fire. <laughs> I love it. So that the, the big muscled guys are not used to all this fine, small little movement over and over again with no rest, right? Now hold those hands up. You're going to give me a pulse. Bar class, not so easy, right? Palms up, press, press. Try to lift your hands higher than your butt. Last four here. Four, three, and then step that right leg in. Hello. Shake it, shake it, shake it. I like it. I like it. All right, so now we'll do a hammer curl on this side. So our right foot will stay forward. Reset your body, right? So nice and tall, crown of the head lifted. We're gonna turn the thumbs up and step the left leg back. So we'll curl up and step in. There we go. Nice and tall. Yeah, looking good, looking good. So again, if you can, you can drop that back knee to the ground. Try not to go shallow with the lunge. You'll get more out of it if you can get deep with it. All good. We got four to go here. And again, if this bothers your knees, you can just hold the stationary lunge. You don't have to do the back lunge. One more, everybody. And hold right here. We're gonna pulse it up. Right, don't worry about the tempo, don't worry about the beat. Just trying to get those reps in. Doesn't have to be on the beat. Burn it, burn it, burn it. <laughs> oh boy. The OG took over here, huh? All right, you're gonna tilt over, back on those triceps. We're gonna go a little wider with the hands though, and in, so it's out and in. So push your hands right up to the sky, driving up. Make sure your shoulders aren't popping up by your ears. You really want to keep those upper traps away from your ears. We've got enough stress. You don't need to add more. Two more. Get ready to hold. Hold it right there. Give me that little lift right here. Press, press. We're trying to fatigue our right leg. Hopefully that's working. Oh, it's working. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Awesome, 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 awesome. Oh. Awesome. Oh.